guys, welcome back to today's video. So today I'm back showing you what I eat in a day for booty gains. And I know what you're thinking, I don't have the world's biggest bum. But if you look at my before and you look at my after, there is a huge difference. And I've only been going to the gym for probably six months. And honestly, I have done so much scientific research researching to workouts, researching to the food I should be eating and honestly that is why I feel like I've made such quick progress because my body has completely changed from before I went to the gym and after I went to the gym. I've lost weight but I have a bigger bum and my body just looks a lot better. It's really weird. I don't know. So I know I don't have the world's biggest bum but my progress I feel like is enough to justify me talking about this because my bum looks completely different to what it used to look like. So with that being said, I wanted to create a video on all the things that I've learned about how to build a bum. And honestly, a lot of it, your booty's made in the kitchen. You know that saying, abs are made in the kitchen? That honestly applies to your bum as well. You need to be eating the right food to, to grow, to get the gains, you know what I mean? So you need to be eating certain foods, you need to be eating a certain amount of carbs, protein, fats, all that stuff. So, without me rambling on, I'm gonna jump into the video, and this is kind of like vlog style with a little bit of nice footage, so I really hope you find this helpful. Let me know if you like seeing another one of these videos, and let's get into it. Hello, so, I'm about to make breakfast, and I'm gonna do avocado on toast with a poached egg. Um, obviously, avocado is really good for you. It's got a lot of protein in it. It's a lot of calories. Um, I'm just using, free range eggs. If you're like vegan or vegetarian, I'm sure you can find an alternative to it. And then I'm using multi-grain farmhouse, six grain and seed bread. This one that I always use is like brown seeded bread. It's really good for you. Um, and I'm also having an apple and peanut butter after I've had my avocado and poached eggs. So first thing you wanna do is start boiling the water. I've put a lid on mine so it boils faster, just like halfway up. And that is just to poach the egg. I've also got coffee with coffee mate. I'm not sure how many calories are in this, so I don't really count it because it's not nutritional. Okay, so I'm using just like a medium sized avocado, I guess, and just slicing it down the middle as you do. What I like to do to get it out is I just make like lines in it, I guess, kind of like a weave. And this just makes it really easy to just slide out. Just like that. Like make them into little cubes and then you can just squeeze it and it'll fall out. It'll be really easy. Now I'm just putting my toast in for like four minutes. Okay, I've got my smushed avocado and I literally just squeeze it and it'll just like pops out. Sorry if this is really bad filming. I'm holding the phone in my left hand. And then I just squish it all down. And then I put loads of salt on which I don't recommend doing. Um, because it's not good for you, but I don't really like the taste of avocado, so I put salt on it. And then I'm just putting my egg on the top, which I can never do. Oh no. Ah. And then, fingers crossed. Woo -hoo. Cool. That's breakfast. I'm just making lemon and honey and hot water because it's supposed to help with digestion and also sorry if you can hear the um washing machine in the background and i'm also going to make myself my apple and peanut butter too so i just cut up all my apple and this is the peanut butter i'm going to be using it's obviously not the best peanut butter in the world almond butter is probably better for you this is just like reese's peanut butter i guess but this is what i use So I've just cut up potato chunks and put them into the saucepan and you want to check these kind of regularly because they get softer faster than you think. So just like jab it with a fork and see how soft they are. They're still kind of hard so they're fine. But I'd say check it every like five minutes and then I've also got rice in here that's just cooking away. And then I've got dough over here that I don't know how to cook yet. Okay, so I've just scored the top of these. Now I'm gonna season them with Waitrose Fine Crystal Salt. 
and pepper, black pepper. Okay. Voila. Okay, so I'm just putting these in the pan, skin side down, like that. This is really hard. Okay, these have like gone crispy, so I'm gonna put them in the oven now to like cook the inside. Ow, ow, and burn all my hands at the same time. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the sweet potato chunks into the pan now. I've put a little bit of garlic in there to add um, flavor. And this is just to like make them crispy, kind of like chips. Okay, so here's my finished food. I've got duck, sweet potato chunks and rice with uh, pepper in it, I think. Um, there's lunch. Cool. Hey guys, so it's quite a bit later on now and I'm about to make dinner. I like a complete scruff. I'm in my pyjamas. Um, I just wanted to mention that I have been snacking on a watermelon, which is right here. I've just been snacking on this, um, just with a spoon. I just cut the watermelon in half and I've just been eating it with a spoon. But I want dinner now and I think I'm gonna have like chicken and rice and stuff. I'm really sorry about how I look, I look really gross. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna have chicken and rice and like onions and stuff because that's like my literal go-to. So might as well make this genuine. <laughs> Okay, so I just put some chicken in a bowl and I'm gonna defrost it. So I've just chopped a roll of veggies that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using a red pepper, this is like half a red pepper, um, a whole onion and three cloves of garlic. Then I've got the rice in here, bubbling away with the lid on so it's like nice and plump. And then I've got the chicken here which is just frosted I'm going to throw it all in the pan now with some butter and just cook it all up. And here is the final result, this is actually two servings which is really really handy. Um, and I'm trying to leave this in the pan because this is my second serving with this over the top until probably later tonight when I get hungry. But yeah, that's my dinner. So yeah, that is what I eat in a day for booty gains. This is just kind of like an average day of eating for me. I'm not like a chef or anything like that. I like to do kind of simple things. A lot of these things you can prep in advance and I just find this really simple to do and eat and maintain. Good luck growing a booty. You can definitely do it. If I can do it, you can do it because I used to be like a plank so you can you can definitely do it so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe it would mean a lot to me i will also link my instagram below and write it on screen i'm trying to make my instagram look really good and be helpful to people so if you could follow me on there and support me i would really really appreciate it and yeah have a lovely day and i will see you super soon bye